Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well today. We're with the Lagoon 25 again. Um, this time I'm on an iPhone 11 with a gel filter to kind of filter out the the blue lighting so you guys can get a sight of the Zoas in here. I can't believe a whole week has passed by and um, haven't really done much to the tank. It's still the same tank as last Wednesday, but I wanted to take some time to kind of do a video on how I feed the corals in this tank. I've been feeding the corals, um, Zoas and Pallies here with Reefroids. Uh, let me cut out and show you guys what I do. All right guys, uh, this is what I use to feed all of the corals inside the Red Sea Reefer 350 and the Lagoon 25. Uh, let me open this up so you guys can see what it looks like. From what I have read, um, Poly Lab, Polyp Lab, um, they design Reefroids um, specifically for Goniopora and Alveopora. Uh, they're the flower pot corals that you see. I have one inside my tank. Um, I guess those type of corals need to take in like very fine particulates. So Reefroids was designed specifically for those type of um, corals so they can kind of easily digest all of this goodness right here. So if you, could, if you guys take a look, it's a very, very fine um, powder. And I found that it mixes very well. And the instruction, it says, for every 50 gallon tank volume, mix one half teaspoon of Reefroids with some water from your tank. For optim optimum results, use a syringe to target feed this mixture while the tank circulation is off. So this is kind of like broadcast feeding. So for let's say the, the Red Sea Reefer 350, it's about 70 five gallons um, display. So you get some and put it into the cup right here and you put half a teaspoon into this cup and you kind of mix it up and then you just pour it all over the top of the tank and you kind of just let it kind of broadcast throughout the tank and then the the corals would just kind of pick up this um, these particles right here and kind of feed off of it. But the second part right here says, um, for better results, use a syringe to target feed this mixture. Now, when you target feed that mixture, it's just kind of a light dusting onto the coral itself, but I watched a, a video from Billy Pipes about a year ago and he kind of smothered um, Reefroids all over his corals. Um, a very, very thick paste. Uh, we're gonna do that today with the, with the Zoas inside of the Lagoon 25. So I got this cup right here. I'm just gonna pour some in. Oh my God. about enough to get a thick paste going I got a syringe right here with some tank water from the Lagoon 25 I'm gonna put some water in and got a little pipette um, this is from Amazon as well you can get like 400 of these for like couple bucks if you guys are interested i'll leave a link in the description below now we're gonna mix this up to like a thick thick paste it easily transfers into the pipette and then when you target feed the zoas it's just gonna 
free float onto the polyps. I don't want to broadcast um, feed the tank because I have the Pandoras. Um, we'll go to the tank right now so I can talk about it. Hey guys, we're back with the Lagoon 25 right here. So under the cabinet, I have the controls. This one's not smart like the Red Sea Reefer 350. It's all manual, this control board right here, or this control switch right here, controls all of my wave makers and the pump and everything. So I want all of my flow off. So we'll turn off all of the wave makers, the auto top off, the return, and the reactor is back here. Turn off the reactor as well. So everything is at a standstill. Right now, we'll get a top view of everything. Can't get enough of that. But as you can see, I have a lot of Pandoras down here. And I don't want to um, broadcast feed and then feed the Pandoras. I want to target feed the Zoas that I want to grow out which is the top row right here with all of the different varieties. I have enough of the Pandora's, so I don't want to broadcast feed and just feed and get these guys out of control here. So right here, let me get a syringe full of the reef roids. And you can see how we're going to target feed. You see it just kind of fall onto the polyps and then the zoa right there is just um, starting to close up and kind of take in that food right here. I was told that this is a Jason Fox um, jack-o'-lantern. Very bright orange. So right here, I just fed this um, green and blue Zoa. It's starting to close up as well. This other chaos right here, very bright. You can see it take take the feeding right next to it is a uh, bam bam right here this purple and green is a uh, wolverine right here some Rastas. So I used up that whole um, pipe of um, reef roids. So we're gonna go get a refill. More Bam Bams right here. Polyps are longer. I think these are watermelons. Daisies right here. More wolverines. I don't know what this um, yellow one is. Rainbow incinerators right here. Give you guys a shot of this. I have some um, Super Saiyans and scrambled eggs in here. Um, Gobstoppers mixed in. 
So I'll let you guys see how the zoas react. Right when the food hits, um, they start closing up and taking in that food. You know, I got my clownfish kind of going in the shot as well. It's a season's greetings, monocap. More right here. More wolverines in the back. King Midas right here. It's yellow. Butt munchers right here. Now I don't want to feed this whole cluster right here. I ordered um some frag plugs. So I'm going to be fragging back some of this right here to give away. Probably next week for next week's video. So down here we got some mushrooms. Um, Sunkiss bounce. I have an OG bounce that um, kind of shrunk on me. I haven't fed in a while so we'll see how reacts to this feeding usually they just curl up and close on and kind of absorb the the reef roids. you can see it reacting right there it's like kind of curling up and closing both of them are the shrimps coming out Give him some more. I have another bounce back here. And this whole rock right here is just um, fire, forest fire. Forest fire Rodactus. Uh, candy canes, another season's greeting, money cap. Feed the candy cane as well. All of these right here, I only had a single polyp. Everything I bought as a single polyp um, from Aqua SD or local, local reefers. It took like two years to get this much, but it's, I didn't give it constant attention though. Where are these right here? It's like Like Sakura Sunrise right here, and over here it's like a something something vampire. <laughs> I forgot. Give the cloves some. Hallucinations right here. Very slow grower. Right here, it's like Fruit Loops, but really small for me. And I thought they were gonna die off. I only had like a single polyp left, and it's kind of coming back, but it's very small. So. Here I got some Superman mushrooms. We'll feed them as well. Some green Rhodactus. Over here, as you can see, all of the mushrooms closed up and they're feeding right now. We'll feed it like this and then leave it for 
a couple of minutes and then we'll turn on the we'll turn on the flow again usually with the rest I have a very little in here I'm kind of running out of water I'll just swish some water in there and then do the do the broadcast feeding even though I said I didn't want to feed the Pandora's right here since it's getting out of control kind of lazy to continue target feeding so we'll do a broadcast feeding of the rest just pouring it over the area that we were feeding earlier there you go it's like broadcast feeding right there So we'll let it feed and we'll check back in with the growth in the coming weeks. So be sure to stay tuned for more videos on the Lagoon 25. Uh, next week we'll probably be fragging up the Pandoras right here. Probably start giving them away. So stay tuned for more videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.